Dragon sense. This serf, no can defend. No one has hit it back in five years of table tennis. I'm going to start by cutting my top, front, and bottom pieces here, and I'm going to cut them at the same time because they are all the same length. But first I got to change out my dull miter saw blade, and I'll go ahead and recycle that bad boy. Here I'm cutting the top, bottom, and front piece, and they're all going to be the same exact length, so I'll just do one single cut all the way through them. Now it's time for the left and right pieces and these are gonna be the same height. So once again, cutting them at the same time. This is a little dry fit I'm doing to make sure everything fits and to kind of show you what the whole final product is gonna look like. I'm also gonna cut out two small pieces here and these are my mounting brackets basically. These are what I'll be screwing into the wall. So I have my front piece, my top piece, my bottom piece, my right piece, my left piece, and two of the mounting brackets. Do a quick sanding. I usually start sanding with 80 grit sandpaper and then move my way up to 120 or even 220 just to get a really finer finish on here. To mount everything together, I'm going to use 18 gauge brad nails that are two inches long and that's really going to hold this into place. And I'm going to couple that with a few bottles of glue here. It really just took one, but I have a ton of almost empty glue bottles, so why not? I'm gonna make four even markings on my top board and this will give me an idea of where my ping pong paddle holes are gonna be located. This is for my Airbnb. I don't really care how many people use this because with all this wood glue and two inch brad nails, this thing is not gonna go anywhere unless somebody is being truly malicious with it. So I'm going to nail the top on, then I flip it over, glue, and then nail the bottom on. Time to glue and nail the front piece on here. And this is what's going to hold the balls inside of this whole casing so they don't fall out. And then the wall will be behind this so the balls can't go out through the back. And then really the last assembly piece is going ahead and gluing and nailing on the back wall mounts, whatever you want to call those. And this is what we're left with. The last step here is to drill out my four holes using a one and a half inch, I guess a spade bit, something like that, a spade drill bit. And my holes got pretty choppy here. The best practice is to start cutting your hole or drilling your hole on one side and once this tip pokes a hole through the wood, you actually start drilling the hole again on the other side and that way you get a clean border around each hole. But I already assembled this top board. I had to go buy another pack of these because I, I don't know where mine went. So I was only able to reach the hole from the top and it made for a pretty choppy underside here. Additionally, I'm out of sandpaper for my Dremel here, which is what I would have used to really smooth out these circles. It's a little rounded sandpaper thing. That's what I would have done, right? So these are a little bit choppy, but who cares? It's going in a rental investment Airbnb property for the ping pong table that I have there. So it's not a big deal to me, but some just some tips for you. I'm using a different kind of stain here for the first time and it's oud finish <laughs> no it's wood finish but it's like a cool little you know they had different colors and you can see here i got it for 228 this stuff is normally 15 bucks and they had a ton of colors that somebody must have returned i thought this was pretty cool uh, we'll see what it looks like I started by using a paintbrush on this, which applied it pretty thick and really it was just like a paint where you can barely see some of the wood grains through it. And I don't know if I would use it again in this type of way. In fact, 
on some benches that I've built and I have a video link to that right up here in the corner. I actually wiped it on with a rag and it came out much better, much thinner. You see more wood than paint, which is pretty cool. But to finalize this whole project, I put some polyurethane or clear coat all over this thing and I put a high gloss on there to really protect it, make it easy to dust and clean off later on. And then mounting it is super simple. I located the studs using a stud finder and then I screwed in one screw to one stud and then put a level on it since I could still pivot the ping pong paddle holder. And then I just screwed on the other side once it was level. <laughs> 